Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people who can never forgive their friends. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. When I was 15, there was a casting at our high school for a movie. The casters came to our class and moved through the tables taking angles of us. The ones that were noticed were invited to the next interview. My friend was chosen. I was not. That same day, my friend that got chosen and I were leaving the school and a recruiter for the same movie saw me and called me to give me an invite for the interview but my friend immediately informed him that I already had been looked at and did not receive the invitation. At which the recruiter changed his mind and did not give me the invite. He never got the part or anything out of it. I'm still bitter about it. <gasps> Why? Seriously, some people just don't like their friends succeeding, you know, like they always want to be better than their friends kind of thing. And that just shows you that they aren't your friend. They aren't your real friend, okay? They're just there to use you to feel better, I guess. So I was 17 and a buddy of mine called me and was like, let's go get steak. We went to a really expensive steak place. We ordered more than we could eat. And when the check came, he was like, I don't have any money. I'm broke. I had to pay roughly $200 USD. I still despise him for that move. The issue is not the money. Had he informed me beforehand, hey, I want steak from that place, but I'm broke. I'd gladly take him there on my treat without hesitation. But telling me that you don't have money when the check comes is a jerk move. What if I didn't have enough money? <gasps> wow. Well, at least now they know that this is the friend they should avoid. <laughs> you know, $200 for two people. <laughs> That's so expensive, seriously. And there was 17. I agree though, that is honestly such a jerk move. Like when I pay for someone's meal, I want them to feel grateful, you know? Like be happy, <laughs> not feel entitled, you know? Years ago, the fair was in town and one of the games was to throw a ping pong ball into a jar from a distance. I nailed it, swish, won myself a goldfish. This was during my lunch from work, so I took it back to work. Stuck it in a tub of water till I finished my shift. At the end of my shift, I went to get it to take it home and it was dead. Scales had all fallen off, looked terrible like it had disintegrated or something. Took it back to the guy at the store and went mad. Like it was only a few hours ago I won this and look at it. They gave me a replacement but I was still pissed. Mate rang me later that day asking about the fish and started laughing. Turns out he put floor cleaner in the water with it when I wasn't there to screw with me because he thought it would be funny. What a jerk. Still pisses me off to this day. I'll be so pissed too. What's so funny about that? That is some psycho thing to do. Like, oh my gosh. I would run far, far away from this person, okay? Model some clothes I made. Started making clothes. Used the pictures of her in my clothes for the website. Told everyone I stole them. And she was in the pictures, so it was obviously me that stole them. I got yelled at by several of her friends for lying and none of them apologized when I proved it was me that had made the stuff. Sounds petty, but it probably was, but we were in our late teens. Making stuff was my one outlet and I was trying to set up a business which is now my livelihood. She was trying to impress people. Oh my gosh. Why? Why would you lie about that kind of thing? Like, honestly. Selections for an inter-school debate contest were happening in the ninth grade. It was to be an interactive session and we would be observed by teachers and shortlisted. Then final selections would be based on individual interviews. I worked on our topics all weekend and took help from a debate trophy holding uncle. I made notes, highlights, added references, the works. Come discussion time, my friend leans over and peeks at my notes, steals my very best arguments, gets wowed by everyone at the table and is shortlisted along with me and a couple of others. I give her a venomous look and all she has to say for herself is, I really want to be in this, I may leave next year. <laughs> oh, I hate how her saying this just feels like she doesn't feel bad about it and that it was right for her to do it kind of thing. <laughs> In the second round, she was dropped because she couldn't make it through the individual interview. I got in. I'm not proud of this as an adult, but at that time, I was happy to see tears in her eyes. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't be happy, but I would be like, you deserved it, kind of thing. 
because she wasn't even meant to be there. Like she basically tried to climb on your back and get the reward for it, you know? I was really lonely in high school and bullied a lot. When I was about 14 or 15, my only best friend at the time teamed up with two other girls who didn't like me to essentially catfish me. I don't know why, we weren't fighting or anything. Anyway, they pretended to be a guy romantically interested in me and emailed me out of the blue. They talked to me for months as this guy, before I trusted him enough to give him answers to really personal questions. Found out who he really was after they told everyone every scrap of personal information I told my online friend. And it was some pretty personal stuff. That's so mean. Why would your best friend do that to you? Like seriously. Like this could have gone very wrong. What's so funny about making someone open up to someone and then betraying them like that, you know? I had recently gotten engaged and my fiance and I were starting to look at venues to hold a reception. The wedding would be in a church. My parents weren't in a position to pay for the entire thing, so my fiance and I were going to pay for the most of it. I told my best friend at the time about one of the places we were going to look at and she said, don't you think that looks kind of cheap? I mean, I guess that if we really tried, we could have a nice wedding there, but your parents won't spring for something a little nicer. We can only put so much lipstick on a pig. When I told her that my fiance and I were paying for it, she went on a tirade about how she couldn't believe my parents weren't paying for it and about how when she was engaged, it broke off before anything was actually planned. Her dad wrote her a blank check and she spent 10 minutes berating my parents. I calmly hung up the phone and never spoke a word to her again. We are getting married in April. The wedding is going to be beautiful and she is not going to be there to see it. <laughs> she is totally salty because her engagement broke off and she's just salty about her friend getting married, you know. <sighs> wow. Why is she the one being pissed about it when it's not her parents, you know? Like if anyone should be pissed about it, it should be the person getting married. What is this girl who has no relation to this wedding doing? This was 7 years ago and I'm still mad about it. I'm 30 now and we were friends from the age of 4 to 23, so almost 20 years. And we had borrowed money from each other all the time and always paid it back. So one day he asked to borrow a few grand for a car and I was like sure no problem, he'll pay me back next month like he always does. I borrowed the same amount from him before. I transferred the money and then didn't hear from him for a few days. So I went around his parents and turns out he used the money to move abroad and set up a new life with a random woman he met online. I almost wish I could say it didn't work out but they got married and had three kids and now live in a nice big house. But I gave him all the money I had at the time and it ruined me for quite a long time and I got into debt and other issues which just spiraled from that point. I knew which city he lives in but not much more than that and haven't had what I would consider a best friend again since. His friend just used that trust and threw it away. Wow. That is honestly such a trashy thing to do. Friend pulled me up and started telling me about how every single person in my dorm hated me behind my back and kept citing examples and twisted them to make it sound like everyone hated me. Little did he know that half of the stories he told me were by people who were my friends. I confronted half of them, mostly to try to improve myself and they were flabbergasted by what he did. Eventually word spread and no one I was close to wanted to talk to him after. Haven't seen him in over a year since. <laughs> When you try to backstab someone, but it turns out wrong. But then again, I feel like if someone is confronted about something they don't want to admit, they could lie about it, right? Because if someone's gonna come to you and be like, hey, do you hate me? Do you hate me that much? Obviously, you're gonna be like, no, I don't hate you. Who told you I hated you? So what if no one just wanted to admit it? and they just used the other friend as a scapegoat. My best friend growing up stopped being friends because of a girl he just met. We became friends when we were four. He was three months older than me, so growing up we went to school. Our parents were friends, we went to the same church, so we spent most of our time hanging out. When we were 17, he met this girl, and after the first time she met me, she told him she didn't want him hanging out with me, right in front of me. Without hesitation, he told me to leave and never talk to me again. It's been nearly 20 years now. I see him about once every couple of years. He's married to her now. He's not allowed to have friends outside of her family and is completely miserable. <gasps> His parents can't stand her because of how unbelievably rude she is to them and rarely lets them see their grandkids. It's been so long now that I could care less and barely know them, but it's not something I would forgive. 
Oh my gosh, that is like a sign of a toxic relationship when you're friends with someone and then the partner is like, no, you can't hang out with them anymore. That just shows how controlling someone is, like not allowing you to have friends. I kind of feel bad, honestly. Like he made the wrong choice and now he's paying for it. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.